Hey everyone, this is Kirk here again at OptionAlpha.com where we show you how to make smarter trades. And in today's video, we're going to be talking a little bit more about customizing the sidebar widgets and gadgets for the Thinkorswim platform. Again, as we continue to go through this course here on Thinkorswim, we're going to try to take everything in as many bite-sized chunks as possible just so you guys can quickly move through things. Uh, in case you don't want to cover something or not. So there'll probably be a lot of videos in this course, um, as you might see already below. But again, we're just going to try to move through little uh, bite-sized chunks and pieces as we keep going forward. So um, in this case, what we're going to be focusing on here is the sidebar widgets um, and gadgets that you have. This is basically everything on the left-hand side of your screen. Now again, this whole sidebar is basically collapsible. You can collapse it and then just open it back up. Um, I do find that it has value, obviously, in having some stuff there. Um, of course, you don't have to use it all the time. Uh, we've already talked about some of the stuff that's in the account info section in the top hand side. And again, you can delete this part of it uh, if you don't want it. I would definitely suggest keeping the account info there. I think that that has a lot of value to you as you start trading, especially kind of seeing where your cash and net liquidity is each day as we talked about in the previous video. Um, some of the things you have down below, um, you have a, thing, a bunch of things that you can do with these gadgets. So just on the right hand side, you can de detach these um, and actually move them off into a separate screen. So if you're trading on multiple screens, which I do not, you don't need to trade on multiple screens or computers, um, you can detach this and kind of run it separately if you want to, that's okay. Um, you can also then delete and switch the gadget and change it up between something else. So this is where you actually get a lot of the different things that are in here. And so I'll kind of go through these so you see what they are. You got the calculator here, which is just a very simple calculator. You've got things like the dashboard, uh, which allows you to just type in a ticker symbol really quick and then just see the exact price here and then a quick buy or sell of the actual quantity um, itself. And again, you can add this to a watch list or do other things from here once you actually have it in place. Um, another one that you have here that you can switch up to um, is a currency map. We don't use those. Level two quotes and lines we don't use as well. There's live audio from news. Um, one that I do uh, like to have on here is if you just want to have the news kind of streaming here. Um, again, this isn't something that you just necessarily always have to have in here, but I do like to have in here in some cases the SPY. It just gives us an idea of what's kind of going on in the broad market. But if you are looking at a particular company, it's an easy way for you to go in here and say, okay, you know, what's going on with Qualcomm? Do they have earnings coming up? Is there something we don't know, right? So it gives you kind of that, that quick insider look into seeing, you know, what's going on with the actual company as far as news so that might affect your decision or not for a trade you know are, is a big fda announcement coming soon are they going to announce earnings did they just announce a merger right and all you're doing is really just like skimming the headlines right and you'll start to see a bunch of stuff come up if something you know does happen to really be relevant um, other things you can do in here are market depth calendars. Uh, so again, you want to type in a ticker symbol here. That'll show you just where all the trades are basically happening on the different exchanges. Again, not that important. I do not have it in there, but it is in there. Uh, little things like Minesweeper, quick charts, quick quotes, a scratch pad. This is also very useful. I know that a lot of people keep uh, records of their trading here. Uh, so you could do opening, you know, position was, you know, XYZ shares or options, whatever. And you could keep this right in the scratch pad. Um, I do find that, you know, sometimes that's helpful if you just want to remember something and just keep it in there. It's right in the platform, always available. Again, not something that you definitely need to use. You got time and sales, Trader TV, and then using the news and then watch list. Um, so the ones that I always keep in here, just so you guys are totally aware, I keep in most cases watch list and then um, the market news in here. So as far as which ones I have, uh, the live news stream and the watch list are the ones that for sure are always in my sidebar. So again, the news is always a little bit lower on my sidebar because I just don't use it that often. Um, but again, I use it for just kind of quickly checking and making sure, you know, uh, making sure exactly, you know, what's going on. I'm not missing anything. As far as the watch list goes, the watch list is pretty customizable. Now inside of here, it'll just say default initially, but you can actually have a watch list of all your current positions, any other positions in your account that you have. You can also set up what are called personal watch lists. So you can save different batches of securities or ticker symbols. Um, this is something that we offer as part of our membership here at Option Alpha. You can buy access to our uh, Toolbox Lite version, which includes our watch list and our earnings calendar. And you can import these into Thinkorswim or into any other broker platform that you have. So many people have personal and then they've saved a watch list called you know, Option Alpha. There's also a lot of public uh, watch lists that are here. These are really cool things like all ETFs. 
American style indexes. Uh, you have double long, double short, the Dow Jones ET uh, tickers that are in there. Uh, you got some more public ones here like the Russell, the S&P, etc. So you can basically see all the different companies that are in all of these different you know securities. Lovers and losers. This is recent analysts upgrades, downgrades, pre-market, post-market movers, top tens or top ten gainers or net gains or most activity um, on the market. So again, not necessarily stuff that we use all the time. We usually go off of our pre-screen watch list, but I'm just showing you guys what's in there. And then you have industry, so you can check out any metals, um, energy, industrials, etc. And then just continue to go deeper and deeper into all of these. So whatever you want to do, I mean, it's it's up to you really how you want to kind of structure this. Um, we'll just do let's do a commission. Free ETFs just for now, and you can see, you know, here's the list of different things that you can trade, right? So these are all commission free ETFs. What we usually do from here, uh, once you save something, is we just adjust the actual columns in here. There's a lot of information when it comes to options trading, at least, that you don't need in these columns. So if you right click on any of the columns here, you can click this customize box. And what this will do is allow you to add or remove things from this. Now, this is cool because you can also add things like uh, technical indicators, and those can actually be showing in the watch list as far as like uh, how you can see if it's a buy or a sell signal, et cetera, and what the readings are. So definitely more advanced stuff that you can dig into, but there's so many different things that you can add to the company or to the sidebar in the watch list. Um, it just really kind of is endless here. What we usually like to do is we usually like to do a couple things. Um, so we'll take out net change, strength, bid ask, because we don't ever trade the actual individual stock itself. Um, and we like to see generally the last and the percentage change on the day. I mean, as a very, very basic uh, layout, this is what we are generally looking at. Um, we also add in here things like implied volatility if you have kind of the advanced features in Thinkorswim. So you can request those from Thinkorswim and add our IV code in here and kind of search and filter by implied volatility. But just on a basic level, what we're looking for is just the percent change on the day. And the reason I use a percent change on a day is because I want to see what's really moving percentage wise, right? If you use just the last change, you could have a company like Google, which is a multi hundred dollar stock moving up $50. And that might seem like a big move, but on a percentage basis, maybe it's not, right? So that's why we always like to see what the percentage change is, just to see if there's anything that's really, really moving that needs to catch our attention and we need to maybe look at for a possible trading opportunity. So I do try to keep my watch list on the sidebar as very minimal as possible. I'm not trying to make it overly complicated. Of course, you can go much, much deeper into this if you want to. Um, it's up to you. Now, when you want to start going in and actually saving different watch lists, what you want to do is you have to actually kind of hard code and ticker uh, symbol in all of the different tickers or kind of export this one and then re-import it. In this case, you can't really change this. This, this is a hard-coded one. So notice if I try to double click on this, which you don't see me double clicking, but I am, you can't change any of these tickers because this is a, a public one that everyone can use. So it's not able to be uh, changed. But if you want to create your own, what you would do is go down here to uh, click on the watch list tab and then say create watch list. And you can name it whatever you want. In this case, we'll just name it option alpha. And you can start typing in ticker symbols, right? Right here, so you can say SPY, TLT, EWW, uh, GDX, whatever you want to type in as far as positions, right? And you can add symbols here uh, by just clicking there. You can import them from a list. So what I usually do is if you click import, you can paste from a clipboard. So what you'll want to do is you can actually just type out in like a Word document or something in a row all the different ticker symbols line by line, highlight all of them, and then you can come in here and paste them into this from the clipboard. Or you can select a file if you're someone else is sharing their actual file with you. Uh, so once you do that, then you can go ahead and click save. Now again, this watch list is going to be populated in here, and you can always add to this. So if you want to add, let's say DIA or add the queues or whatever the case is, you can just add to this watch list really easily. And anytime that you do, then you can it's already automatically saved in here. And of course, you can share this watch list with your friends, or you can delete it, you can edit it, whatever you want to do. Uh, it's very very easy to do. All right, so that pretty much runs the table with the sidebar widgets and gadgets that we have. So again, thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any comments or feedback, please let us know. If you love this video, please consider sharing it online. Help spread the word about what we're trying to do here at Option Alpha, and we'll see you in the next one.